Hello and welcome to my first ever City Skylines YouTube upload. This will be a let's design, let's build sort of series. A bit different to other people's though. There's no highway connections and there's no train connections. The only way people can come onto the map is through harbours or airports. This is a, is a bit of a challenge. You can't do the traditional thing. You sort of have to focus on your ports, airports and harbours to get people in. It, uh, it can be difficult. There's also different things like uh, we have unlimited money on and unlimited demand. So unlock all and quite a few mods are in place that allow us to do weird things that the, the base game can't do like uh, sharp ang angle junctions, anarchy, um, to name a few. I can't really remember anymore. I've got loads. I was going to place the harbour and I used move it. Yeah, I used move it to move it into place. It's just the right place. Because otherwise they, they always snap in the most peculiar angles imaginable. I'm not sure why, but they do. Base game. Crap, I suppose. Uh, this. I redesigned it after a while because I thought it was too big that opening. It was unrealistic to be ship would, wouldn't really fit so I had to do that and I extended the road down here further down here will eventually be the town area just removing unwanted roads from underneath the harbour uh, and now I add all the sea walls which uh, is a pain in the ass to add them all individually but they look a lot better than the keys the keys look a bit uh, bland plain have no texture to them and especially with these uh, unknown roads I have to move most of them to get them to fit perfectly it's a bit of a pain and, and this corner pit I thought it looked right with it crossing I would prefer it not to do that, but <sighs> beggars can't be choosers. And these corners, oh, these corners were right pain in the ass. I had to move them all. And later on, I think they despawned uh, after I changed the water, not despawned, but got destroyed after I changed the water level. Which was a bit annoying, but you know, I think we'll see that in a couple minutes. Especially to see what this island is really based off. It's, it's more based off a. Uh, a British island, ones like below, like the Island Man, the Isles of Scilly, the, the Channel Islands mainly really, since I am from them. Uh, it's It's got very many influence from there, there'll be a lot of old buildings and a lot of new buildings just mixed in. As you can see, this is the thing I was talking about earlier. They uh, despawned. I have no idea why. It's a bit weird. If someone knows, uh, let me know. Those, those corner pieces seem to be more fragile than the other ones. They seem to burn down, and so maybe it's something from the update has broken it. Like the national nat natural disasters update. And. Right there I was just spawning in some residential to make sure the harbour works. So I've done this a couple of times where the harbour just hasn't worked. The, the boats can't seem to path to it, especially after moving it. The path seems to break. Mm, removing the sand. Ah, yeah, yes, this. This is the uh, boat ramp, which will allow cars to uh, drive straight onto the boats like on uh, a lot of ports so the boats open their back doors and they're let in and they can just drive straight on this is sort of what that's mimicking I mean boats don't really do this in sea skylines but it's just it's just for looks really I'll probably have a couple more 
in other locations. There, I was just looking at the boat routes to make sure everything was all good. Here I'm trying to find a building to make the default harbour look bigger. Because at the moment it looks a bit small. I was trying to have like maybe a waiting room or a place for visitors to go, probably storage. It was being a bit annoying, it wasn't really attaching to the ground, it like left a dent as I was moving it around. Oh, here I was looking at the ship, it sort of hit the harbour a bit. I was a bit disappointed with that, but I may sort out the boat routes another time. I do pro procrastinate on things a lot, so I probably won't bother for ages. There you go, just use move it there to move it in to a good position. There's that dot, so I tried to raise it up. Sometimes with moving, you can elevate things and de elevate them. This building is good. It was a bit of an overhang, so I used uh, the service painter, gave it a bit of a concrete texture. Here, I was trying to make a sort of round about, like, so people who, who have driven down could turn around easy, go back up. I edit this a lot, <laughs> probably more than I should have, but that's later. Now this, this is something I've never done before. It's like a um, concrete pillar in the harbour. There's one in my, my island where there's like a pillar. I, I assume it's for big ships so they can attach to it with a rope. After like I was trying to do that in the water, it was it was snapping like crazy. I couldn't get it to work, so I decided to do it on land and do individual pieces, and then I move them to the island. I'm not sure if that was easier. It took a while. It was a bit of a pain. But I did it. I probably won't do it again. Or if I do, I can just copy it with the copy tool. So I suppose that's that. Getting the elevation on them was a pain. Because all the nodes are so close, it's hard to click on individual nodes to, to move them. I probably fiddle with this for for ages. I probably should have cut it really, but I didn't. Um, yeah, as you can see, the they don't look as good the uh, keys as the harbour wall. You can't get circular ones, so I had to use the keys. Also, it sort of does fit the the texture. Which they are normally solid concrete, so they've got to be heavy. I was just using the move, move, move it tool select to move the whole thing. But as I did it, it changed the angle, which was a pain because I had to do it all again. I won't, I won't do that again. <laughs> uh, I, I wish they had keys that were different colours and stuff maybe there'll be a mod one day that come that change that I think I saw something recently on reddit about that and I was just letting the water sort of settle it gets when you're playing on pause to moving the uh, water around can skew everything up I was changing the edge roads to concrete because it looks better than roads because you don't normally see roads right next to, <clears throat> uh, I suppose that the harbour walls like that, that would just be a bit of slab of concrete or tarmac or something like that. Oh this is where I take ages trying to make this uh, circular and then I sort of give up and don't really make it circular. Looks better than it did though. Well, I think these noises these are very strange noises I'm hearing game noises sped up I suppose I found that if you if you're ever working close to the edge the best thing to do is just make it at the edge of the, the coast make it bigger it's easier that way it just saves has has faffing around trying to work out things 
So this, like I said before, this will be a little turnaround that people can use, and because otherwise they would just have to like spin in a circle, and they can't do that. But it just doesn't look very good. So I gave them a small loop. This was, I was trying to sort this out. It, it messed with the the heights of the uh, the sea walls so much. But I found that if you got a wall, ne a road next to the wall, you can adjust it with mover and it changes it to very close. Not perfect, but I'm not really a super perfectionist. I'll do as much as I can, and when I get bored, I'll, I'll stop. I might go back to things if I notice it later on. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing now. Just yeah, fixing the water and no, concrete. Even use a surface painter. Just a bit. Oh uh, yes. This is where. Do I do anything? Do I edit this? Or do I just, no, I just drew that road. I thought I edited that. Spoiler later. Disconnect that road, making it like uh, less intersections, so that like there's people driving. If there's intersections, they seem to slow down sometimes, so less intersections the better. Uh, this area here I'm going to flatten down, and this will probably be the main town. There'll be some arenas, it'll be an older style area, probably a couple of new buildings, shopping, like a high street down the middle. Just now I'm going to draw the main, main road running down the coast, and then up into the mountains there. I think this will be a uh, this will be a roundabout. I may download a what's it called traffic president so that the roundabout works better. But they don't really work very great default, especially with the amount of uh, like nodes that I've made because I'm making it. This very much resembles the uh, the main roundabout where I live. Very similar. Although it's probably bigger, probably a bit big, quite a lot bigger. I was just tweaking the uh, the nodes with move it. So useful for making roundabouts. So very useful. Before or before move it, oh, it was a pain. But now it's so easy, so much easier. You can drag them around, do what you want with them. All right, that, that's the roundabout. I just tweak it a bit. Later on, I'm probably going to um, do some surface painting things, decals on it to try and hide most of those uh, zebra crossings. But that'll be for a future episode. And uh, that's just a little shortcut area. I know that'll work. I'll have to see when they move in. Right.